like a war. Sister, I'll go see. No! You heard what Clayton said. Well, wait here. But maybe Clayton was shot. Don't worry, Amy. It'll be all right. He has to be. Nothing lit out in your direction. Did you get him, Rue? No, I miss clean. So doggone thick and everywhere he run, I couldn't see a thing. Maybe he's still there. It's the nester. One more step there, sonny, and you'd have been a hide for tanning. You almost hit me as it was. That wouldn't have been a bad idea. What does that mean? It means you got a lot of questions to answer. Now, come on, Nestor. I'm going to take you to the Major. not far from here. Heard the wolves. Come take a look. You recognize this rope? Doesn't belong to me. An ordinary range cow is usually strong enough and wild enough to take care of herself against wolves, even a grizzly. An ordinary range cow doesn't tie herself to a tree. That rope doesn't belong to me, Major. You're absolutely certain? I'm certain. That's braided horsehair, Major. So... I've never saw one of these nesters could make one. Those wolvers we saw over there the other day both had those kind of hair ropes on their mule. You think they may have uh, used the cow for wolf bait? Could have. Might have just staked her out so they could butcher her when they got hungry. Well, skin the carcass. We could use the hide. Your brood? Are you all right, Clay? Sure. Major, this is my sister, Kat. How do you do? Hello. This big twin, little twin, and that's Amy. You remember Jim, I suppose. He uh, looks a little shy. Probably from the treatment my man gave him at the cow camp. Well, you can't hardly blame him for that, sir. Haven't you learned yet? You will not last in this country, Mr. Monroe. It'll take more than wolves to scare me off. You're sentimental. I realize, of course, that your father discovered this valley ten years ago, before I was here. That your parents died bringing you children out. But this is open range, unsurveyed. Don't you think it is rather foolhardy of you to uh, squat on it? I'll take my chances. The wolves, Mr. Monroe. The wolves of all kinds wait in the brush for innocence, just like you. It is they, not I, who will measure how much time you have. Remember this. Only the strong control this land. The weak lie buried in it. Good morning, Miss Kathy. I didn't get a chance to tell you my name the other day. It's Rule Jackson. Mr. Jackson? Come on, Kath. When you leaving, Monroe? What does that mean? Didn't the Major tell you to skedaddle? No. The Major knows we've got as much right to this land as he does. We don't need permission from anybody to stay on it. How do you plan to protect your brood against winter when it comes? Without any cabin to move them in? Quint's gonna build us a cabin. Is he? Sure he is. What do you think? Well, sweetheart, you tell him to build it real solid. Make a good, strong door a little girl can lock. And a big girl, too. Well, goodbye, Miss Kathy. 